Hello Scorpios. This is a reading for Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. This is a pick a deck reading to see how they feel about you. We have deck one, two, and three here. So you guys go ahead and choose which deck that you would like. Um, you can pick two of them, you can pick three of them, whatever you guys feel comfortable with, um, as long as you can get a message out of it that resonates with you, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and move these other two out of the way, and we will go ahead and get started here, okay? With deck one, let's ask the question, make sure my cards are upright. <clears throat> How do they feel about my Scorpios? How do they feel? How do they feel about Scorpio? How do they feel? Hmm. I think both of you guys feel the same way. They love you. They care about you for sure. Strong message up front. Definitely a mutual um, affection there. Okay. Hmm. But they feel like it's over. They feel like it's over here. That, you know, it just came to, it needed to end. For what whatever reason, it needed to end. They felt like it needed to end. It had to come to a close. Somebody here is fighting change. Okay. And somebody here does not want it to end. Somebody wants to bring this back. And somebody wants to talk about it, okay? Definitely. They have something to say to you guys. Um, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. Hmm. I feel like, you know, initially it was very happy between the two of you guys is the way that they're feeling but there was something that shifted like they feel like you guys at some point you know you weren't getting along you weren't on the same um, page but somebody here definitely wants to bring this back this is Sagittarius energy I feel like probably um, this is something that both of you guys feel, but I, I kind of feel like you, my Scorpios, are feeling um, like you would like to make things right with this person. They want to make things right too, but I think they're more aggressive in their approach. Um, maybe they feel like you guys uh, did something to them. Hang on one second, guys my freezer they feel like I think this person feels like you did something to them you offended them because I think this person's kind of angry um, but at the same time they do not want this to end they want to I think there's something they want to talk about that could possibly transform the situation okay I feel like both of you on the same accord I just feel like the other person is kind of angry and as I split the deck then I have a seven of cups there and then I have the will of fortune here um, but I feel like you know there's a lot that has been unspoken in this situation that could definitely make this will turn in your favor okay but um, I think the other person is feeling uh, slighted here but both of you still want it I'm feeling some disappointment there with the three of swords okay I don't know what made me shuffle when I sat back down but I did <laughs> okay so let's see what else yeah they feel like you weren't all in um, they're feeling a little rejected um, maybe that you know when they were trying to work with you that you weren't trying to fully work with them and I feel like this person still hurt by that but I think now you guys are willing to at least my Scorpios are and this person wants to as well. They want to come out of the cold with you. They want to feel like, you know, you guys did have something. That they weren't just being delusional about it. Yeah. I think there's something that you guys are realizing here about this situation. That this person makes you happy. Um, that you feel like if you guys reunited, um, it would bring both of you happiness. 
And I feel like even though this person feels hurt and rejected, um, there's something that they feel that is angering them that, you know, there's just still something about you is what I'm getting. There's something about Scorpios that I feel like they will be more than willing to revisit again here. Okay? Because this is death. This is your card. But this is also rising. Okay? Very much so. Bringing it back from the dead. Alright guys? So that is deck one. Let's move on to deck two. Uh, Leo energy was there as well. Let's see. How do they feel about my Scorpios? How do they feel? How do they feel about my Scorpios? Hmm, my card, my deck's upside down, so I'm going to flip it. And this card as well. Um, some of them feel like you tricked them. Uh, they feel like you were out for self. I think some of them feel like, you know, maybe you guys reach out sometimes. Maybe you, you know, reach out and say hello. But you're still not willing to be, like, all in. Because if you see the magician's holding his the cup close to him, like he wants to offer it. But, mm, you know, not right now. Okay? They feel like you guys are kind of manipulative. Hmm. And you watch them. <laughs> they feel like you definitely keep an eye out on them. Um, maybe that you look at their social media. Um, some of you are actually kind of riding by, by their houses. They feel like they've spotted you. Yeah, some of them are a little paranoid though. It's almost like they've been shell-shocked. PTSD. And they're really focused on that. Thinking that you've, you know, you're spying on them or stalking them, but um, some of you are not. Some of you are, but some of you are not. So, yeah. Hmm. They really want to start over. And I think they, they think that you guys, you know, strictly want them for sex. Um, and they're very paranoid about that, that that's all that you want. They feel like, yeah, you will be willing to, you know, get back into a situation with them, but it will be just that, a situation, not a relationship. It will be a sexual situation, is what some of them are feeling. Some of them are um, thinking that, you know, they may not have a chance to, or get the chance to be in a committed relationship again. Um, they're very, like, what's the word? Hypervigilant. And warding off people that only want sex here. And I feel like this kind of like, it, it weighs them down. They think about this a lot. Okay. Knight of Swords. There's a female here for some of you guys that wants to blast your ass. Okay. And they're waiting on it. They're waiting on you guys to to reach out or say something um, because they look sweet, but they want to light you up, okay? And that's just for some of you. They want to light you up. They want to let you have it. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, woman, okay? Seven of Cups. This person's very confused. Um, it's like they want a they want a relationship, like a committed relationship, and they they are hell bent on getting it. Um, but I feel like there is there's some there's some delusional aspect here um, as to like I feel like a lot of them feel like they can get what they want when they want it, how they want it, um, feeling like they are the ish. But at the same time, deep down inside, they really don't. They really don't. Because they're concentrating on you. 
They're concentrating on you guys. Some of you guys feel like you can have this person whenever you want to. All you have to do is pick one of these things off the shelf and work your magic. Okay? If you wanted to. Ten of Cups. They're looking for somebody that can give them everything that they want, everything that they need. Um, committed relationship that has all the love. Um, they don't have to look outside of it for anything else. That everything will be right with this person. They're looking for a committed relationship here. Pisces energy. And I feel like, again, they are concentrating on you guys. Um, they would love for you guys to come and offer these Ten of Cups. Okay? So, that is what I have for Deck 2, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, even, um, yeah, Sagittarius, Gemini. Alright, guys. But for, for some of you guys, there there's a lady that um, wants to light your ass up. So keep that in mind, okay? Alright, so moving on to deck three. Scorpios. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter sign. Scorpio. What's going on with my Scorpios? How does their person feel about them? How does Scorpio's person feel about them? Let's see. Hmm. Mean these upside down decks. All right. So we have the five of wands. Ooh. They they feel like you bring conflict to their life. Um, this person is very defensive about. Um, this situation in general very combative uh, they feel like you guys just did not get along they feel like you did not get along they are feeling like there's something better out there for them because you know it, it was just too much is what I'm getting here Leo energy five of Pentacles conflict um, they're on guard and I feel like they have a lot of mental conflict here. Um, they're hurt. They're hurt by whatever went on between the two of you. They, they're lonely, this person. Taurus energy. Pisces. Oh. Mm. Hmm. This person's not speaking to you. Um, they have a lot of deep feelings for you. But I feel like this person has been very secretive with you in the past. And it has left you feeling like, you know, who is this person? And that brought a lot of conflict to you. Or this is how you made them feel. You know... Maybe some of you guys were very secretive, and that is why, you know, you had such conflict with this person, and they're still bothered by it. They still don't know, like, the truth about, you know, why you did whatever you did to them, okay? Left them. They're lonely. I'll pull two cards here, so let's see what we have. We have the Queen of Cups and the Eight of Wands. Um, they feel like they gave you all of them that um and they they spoke this to you they shared this with you they didn't hide anything from you and they want you to open up and communicate they want to communicate they want to talk about you know their hurt feelings and why it is that you did what you what you did because you guys are not speaking right now at all for some of you i think both of you want to communicate um, somebody has very deep feelings here that they're hiding, not following their heart. And I think their heart is leading them to the other person. Yeah, with the Ace of Cups. There's somebody here that wants to offer their love.
Mm. There's somebody here that wants to offer their love. And I'm feeling like whoever's feeling lonely right now, whoever's feeling like whoever was the one that um, was very secretive in the connection, was very elusive. Um, probably did not, you know, show their feelings a whole lot. Like, did not tell the other person that they loved them. Did not tell the other person, you know, how they truly felt about them. That is a person that is truly wanting to offer their cup of love right now. They, they want to extend an offer. They want to come clean. But they are feeling so like down and out right now that that's not an option currently. Okay. Whoever that is. So um, we have Scorpio energy here. Cancer. Sagittarius, Taurus, Pisces, and Leo. Both of you have felt hurt by this connection. Somebody left the other person feeling rejected and lonely, okay? And then the person that left now feels hurt that they did that to the other person. And they really, they're hiding it still. They're hiding their feelings still, whoever this is, okay? So my Scorpios, this is what I have for you guys. And I will be speaking with you soon.